Hi Pisces and welcome to your June monthly tarot reading. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. This is a general reading for any sun, moon or rising Pisces. And so we can take a look at the cards. We can get a sense of the energies for the month to help guide you. And hopefully some of this will resonate. Again, it's a general reading. So take what does, leave the rest as many say. And uh, let's see what is going on for you, Pisces. Okay, the first two cards we have is the awareness for the week. So we have the Four of Swords and the Queen of Swords. And the Four of Swords would uh, tell you this week to get some rest, to perhaps remove yourself from social situations or situations that maybe are causing pressure or stress or something where it's maybe raising your, your blood pressure. And the Four of Swords would say, remove yourself, meditate, rest, do yoga, contemplate, uh, but allow yourself the chance to restore and to recover and really to re-energize your being. And so with the Four of Swords, it doesn't mean that the situation that you remove yourself from in order to have some solitude doesn't mean that it goes away. It simply means that you may go back to it in a more rested state or a refreshed state of mind. You may, during this time of rest, think of other strategies or other ways to go back to it that are not going to deplete you. So there's a real message here of finding rest. With the Four of Swords, here's the mighty Queen of Swords. And she is all business, eyes forward, raised sword, powerful because she is using her smarts and her intelligence and her reason to make decisions and to rule. And there's really no um, allowance of nonsense of extraneous information of emotional <laughs> pieces. She's all business. She's going to rule based on facts and analysis and evidence. And so uh, if you're looking for a soft touch, she's probably not the queen to deliver that. She's the queen that may, uh, her words may feel blunt to you or brittle, but she's telling it like it is. And with swords, you know, we deal with the adversity of our lives, the difficulties, the challenges. We, gotta, we have to use that sword in order to cut through the nonsense and the BS. The BS that we put upon ourselves and also the BS that others bring into our life. So when we are able to do that, we find clarity and we are able to be clear and direct. So this queen, whether this is someone within your circle, wiser, kind of does things, uh, just makes very smart decisions based on reason, or these are attributes that you would benefit from. It's kind of deal with things as you know them and to understand the complexity of the situation and the analysis of the situation so that you can make smart decisions. You know, and the smart decision perhaps is to make sure that you're rested. Okay, so in terms of guidance, so in terms of guidance, we have the Three of Rods and the Nine of Pentacles. And the Three of Rods this wand energy of ambition, of passion, of drive. The three of rods, we see the man looking out at the ships, looking out at the water, at the vista, and thinking, what's next for me? What's my big plan? What's the vision? Where am I headed? What am I going to manifest or create next? You know, I have that power and I can do what I want to do. 
but what is it that I want to do? We're talking about passion. We're talking about excitement and doing things that are exciting to you and thinking about, you know, what's the next vista that you want to cross? Is it travel? Is it international travel? Is it starting a new business? Is it writing the novel that you've been hoping to do? Writing music? Taking uh, comedy imp improvisation? So it's your vision and it's time for you to really think about how are you going to do it and what is it that you're going to do? The good news in terms of guidance is here's the nine of pentacles. And this woman is in her, at her home, which is comfortable, which is abundant. She has her, it's like some type of bird on her arm and she is successful. She has achieved a level of comfort that works for her. And more than likely she's done, done it by making good decisions, by being smart, by looking at complex issues and being able to, to make again, reasonable and smart moves. When I see the nine of pentacles, I think of being very independent, very capable, very willing to do what it takes to get to this level of comfort. But along the way, the thinking with the nine of pentacles is if you're going to work hard and be devoted to your goals, don't forget to have fun. So this is a week to enjoy your hobbies. It's a week to, uh, in a, alongside the, the dedication and the discipline of working hard is don't forget to bring in the things, the passions or the hobbies or the people that bring you pleasure because she has built a comfortable home and allows herself to enjoy the fruits of her labor. So in terms of possible outcomes, so interesting, possible outcomes, we have the two of swords. And twos are typically about decisions. So we're getting this sense of decisions to be made. And this woman here, arms are crossed. She's blindfolded. She has the rough water behind her, has the moon out there. And this can suggest that you've kind of come to a fork in the road or that maybe you are unable to make a decision. And you're unable to make a decision at this time because you... You just can't deal with it. You don't want to see it. It's just something that it's not right right now. Blindfolded, not taking in the circumstances, heart and chest blocked, nothing coming out. It's almost like you're at a standstill, uh, a, cro a crossroads. So ultimately, it may take time for you to be able to take off that blindfold and to deal with it. But it seems that for whatever reason, if you need to make a decision, you're not there yet. And here's the queen of swords, the powerful queen of swords. You may need time to do, uh, to do more work or to do more research or to be thinking things through for a longer period of time. And then also in terms of possible outcomes, we have the seven of rods, and so that's that would be the seven of wands. And we see this man uh, wielding or yield, what, wielding his wand against people below him. So number one, he has the height advantage. He actually has the advantage within this illustration. He's the higher ground. This could be a situation where you need to take the higher ground if there's an argument, if there's a conflict, if you are having to defend yourself, you just want to, you may want to keep that in mind. The other thought is that you may have to defend your beliefs, your actions, yourself. Perhaps someone within your life is questioning, could be a boss, could be a partner, um, a spouse, and that you have to say what's on your mind. So we have an interesting set of cards here. We don't have 
we have no major arcana cards. We have all of the, the daily grind of the minor arcana, which is get rest, make smart decisions, um, take time to enjoy all the hard work that you've been doing. Don't forget to enjoy it. You are thinking about manifesting something within your life. And maybe you're just simply not ready to move forward with that. You have more, you may need more time to make decisions. And then this week you may be having to defend perhaps your plans to defend what you're hoping to accomplish or what you're hoping to do. And, uh, you know, again, it's the, the, the wear and tear of the, of the minor arcana, which is how we, we have to go through all these moves within our life. And so always interesting. Let's see what the Oracle cards are telling us. I'm going to choose a card. That's an affirmation for the week. Begin now, take your first step. So I get a sense there that even if you are maybe not feeling ready, that you ultimately will feel ready, take your first step, particularly aligns with the three of rods and the vision that you have for what you want to do. Let's get a card for love and we'll see what the messages are for love. You have the ability to give over unwanted energies to the loving forces of the universe. So to release, to allow the unwanted energies, just send them off in a puff of air going back into the universe, release them. And you know, there's, uh, I think a release is going to be needed here in order to clear the way for decisions to be made. And I would say that release here as well, which is releasing the pressure, allowing yourself to be restored and to feel uh, refreshed in order to deal with um, what life is, is putting on your plate at this point. So Pisces, this is what I have for you for the week. I hope that you found something helpful here. If you did, please subscribe, like this video, share this video, comment below. I wish you a wonderful week and I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care.